inspiration for approaching council with man lifting cow basically came about uh, through my mother who uh, when I was visiting her here in Sunshine um, had cut out from the newspaper a, uh, an article uh, talking about a sculpture commission um, and then I contacted council but unfortunately it closed the day before uh, however from that contact came a discussion uh, about um, my having lived in Sunshine for uh, 30 odd years and that uh, I'd like to leave a, a sculpture as a mark uh, of our family's um, involvement with Sunshine uh, which dates back to when my mother and father um, uh, immigrated from England and Ireland. And this, this project is fantastic because you've got some corporate partners, you've got some local donors who are very attached to the area, you've got the Brimbank um, City Council connection right behind the whole project and then you've also got the artist who is now internationally renowned, John Kelly, who's actually um, putting in his own time and, and to create the art piece and then it's going to be produced in Brimbank at a local foundry. I mean it's a, it's a brilliant collaborative story. Really excited about the fact that this is a, a creative project. It, it's driving arts in the Sunshine area and it's a, a new focus on arts education and uh, really the community getting involved and hoping to drive the uh, local schools and educational facilities to really focus on arts and culture in the Sunshine area. So I think the Man Lifting Cow project has a, a couple of um, benefits and one is the, um, the issue of social inclusion and the fact that 46% of people in Melbourne participate in arts and cultural um, activities, which is a real positive, means that the arts can be a fantastic tool for getting people involved. People engage with it. It gives people hope, it inspires people and makes people think, makes people talk about it and adds to the beauty of the surroundings. come back to Sunshine and undertake this project with the amount of support was fabulous and I, I really, really appreciated that. So let's hope that this is the start of a, a cultural renaissance uh, of the inner west. John came to us and he said, look, I want to do something about the area I grew up in. I grew up in Sunshine. I'd like to give back to my community. And he asked us to get on board. So we said, yes, of course. If you want to do it, we're delighted. The awakening of a, a, a culture here in Sunshine, especially with the uh, historical figures who have, who have come from Sunshine, who have gone on to be international artists. It's, it's such a strong uh, representation. But uh, I hope this sculpture just acts as a, a marker for, for future generations to, to be inspired by. It brings economic and social benefits to the community with access to arts and its inspiring artists. It's really a wonderful project. <laughs> and uh, Sunshine Marketplace and vicinity centres have a passion for enriching community experiences. This work is the third in a trilogy of uh, monumental sculptures beginning in Paris with Cow Up a Tree, uh, Monte Carlo, uh, Three Cows in a Pile and now Man Lifting Cow in Sunshine and uh, for me this is probably the most significant of those three sculptures uh, given uh, it's where I grew up. Paris, uh, Monte Carlo and Sunshine definitely has a nice ring about it. <laughs>